Good morning. It's 7.30 Thursday morning. It's time for enlightened fitness. That's right. You're, you're going to cultivate the body of a tantric sex god through a 10-minute workout. And then we're going to cultivate both the heart and mind of a Buddha through an 11-minute guided meditation. For the, um, the workout, it can be best described as high-intensity body weight interval training. We'll rest for 10 seconds and work for 20 seconds using the maximum intensity we can. That's the key to supercharging our metabolism so that we, it operates at an accelerated rate for the next 36 hours. There's a myth that you have to work out for an hour, or an hour and a half, or two hours to burn calories. That's more efficient to have a 10 minute workout that burns more calories all day long. So let's do that right now. Today, the, we're always, we're always going to have four components. We're always, we're always going to have a leg component, a pressing component, a core component, and a pulling component. But there's little variables. So today, the legs we're going to do, we're going to do is a jumping squat. And of course, we want to do the squat on the balls of our feet. So right now, we're going to warm up by doing the four exercises slowly and gently. So the first exercise is the squat. So if you're just starting out. For beginners, you recommend doing the squat, weight on the balls of the feet, and you just touch your tush to the couch, and you sit back up. So this is nothing new, but it, it can be vigorous. When that ceases to be a challenge, I then recommend doing squats, once again, on the balls of your feet, going all the way down. One of my teachers recommended that treat your body like an accordion. When you compress an accordion, the air comes out. Same thing with the squat. When you squat all the way down, breathe out. On the way up, breathe in. For people who no longer need an intermediate challenge, an advanced, the first advanced challenge is just to add a jump in there. And the second intermediate challenge is to twist. That way you, you engage the core. I want to demonstrate. Even though you're landing on the balls of your feet, you want to land as gently as possible. That was number one, legs. Number two is pressing. Today we're going to do a pike press. Which reminds me what they used to say in the late 80s. It's like your ass in the air like you just don't care. So <laughs> what you're going to do is you start off in a plank position. You pull your tush up so it's in the air. And then you touch either your chest or your head to the ground. This is the advanced version. The beginning version is to do it on your knees. Okay, now we come to the core. We're going to do V pulls. Can't do V pulls and just do seated in and outs. The fourth aspect of today's workout is going to be a palms facing up chinning or pulling movement. This is ideal 
for using the Liebert Equalizer or the Workhorse. If you have neither of those and you're doing the cheap stuff like I am, what I'm going to do, I'm not sure if you can see in the background, is I have um, in the doorway of a chinning bar and I've got the dip stand to use to brace my feet. So I'll be doing that in the background. Palms up or palms facing face. Today we're going to be using the free online tapata timer that you can access through the website. By the way, many questions could come up during the workout. It's not your job to do everything perfectly, just do the best you can, maximum effort for 10 minutes. At the end, bring your questions. Your questions can be answered by exploring the links below the video. If you don't have any, if you don't see any links, just go to the bottom right hand corner, find the little YouTube icon, give that a click or two, that'll take you to the dedicated page for this YouTube video. About an inch below the video you'll see a button that reads show more. Give that bad boy a click, it'll reveal all the links. It'll give you many free online resources. Alright, so I'm going to start the timer. Starting session. Oh, so exciting. Work. some pipe pressing. Okay, let's do some V-pulls. Work. Rest. Okay. Let's do some chins. Or some off camera. Sorry about that guys, next time I'll try to be on camera. Second circuit, jumping squats. Let's do some pike presses. Work. Rest. 
Okay, let's do some view pulls. Work. Okay. Rest. So just the camera. Okay. Let's do some shins. Work. Okay, third circuit, jumping squat. Shred your shoulders during the pike. Ready to get to the traps. V pulls. Work. Just the camera. Work. Pulls. Rest. Fourth circuit. Squats. Work. Rest. Prepare for pike presses. Usually called those tent presses. Rest. 
final circuit squats work Prepare for pike press. Work. V pull. Work. Rest. Okay. Session complete. Woof. Okay. Right now, let's do the let's sit in the Tara position. So it'd be right leg, left leg in, right leg out. Remember, we don't force the knees down. The flexibility comes not from the knees, but from the ball sockets at the hip. Woof! Oh. Yep. This is a cotton yoga blanket. Someday I'd like to replace it with a hemp yoga blanket. It's even better for the environment than cotton. Water, beverage of choice. Okay, as always, all the techniques we play with come from two categories. Lom Rim's intellectual path, Chak Chen's mystical path, both are Buddha's teachings. As always, we're going to start with four preliminary practices. The first one is hands-free alternate nostril breathing. Left hand in lap, right hand in left, thumbs do not touch. In through left, out through right. You don't have to close the way, eyes all the way or open them all the way. You can have your eyes at what my mother used to call half-mast. In through right, out through left.
in through both, out through both. For the second set of preliminary practices, we're going to do a silent version of Powa, or Transference of Consciousness. Wear a crown wheel, letting go. That exercise helps us to cultivate the peace that comes from letting go. The next exercise will help us increase our love for all others by intending that everyone take an auspicious rebirth at the end of their current life. Through crown wheel, give great birth. Now we come to part three, our gratitude training. Thanks for what? Chain Ray Zeke. Chain Ray Zeke. Thanks, teacher. Our fourth and final preparatory exercises are the four contemplations that increase our bliss by adjusting our posture. Why pull head, chain raise egg. Chain raise egg, jaw relax. Wear tongue tip, chain raise eek. Why grin now, chain raise eek. Now we come to Lomrim's intellectual path. We're going to start with the four exercises of renunciation. Why this not satisfy? Why turn from suffering's cause? Why karma be quite just? Why this chance be precious? Now 
we're going to play with the three exercises that generate compassion. Why could each be kind mom? Why take yuck? Chain raise egg. Take yuck smoke. Chain raise egg. Now we're going to play with the ten exercises of the wisdom of letting go. What feeling? Chain Ray Zeke. Why this not satisfy? Why could this always change? Why could this not be me? Why could this not be mine? Why could this not be grasped? Why could I let this go? Why would I let this go? When will I let this go? Chain Zig, let this go. Now 
we come to the final quarter of Malbrim's Intellectual Path, we come to the three exercises to help us cultivate even greater love. As I explained in a previous lesson, compassion and love are two sides of the same coin. Compassion observes the suffering of another and intends to take it away. Love notices the needs of another and intends to meet them. Or to put more simply, Compassion takes suffering, love gives blessings. Or to put it even more simply, compassion takes, love gives. Some people think it's wrong to notice other people's sufferings, and they walk around with their head, hands over their, their ears going, la 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 la, everyone's happy. No, not everyone is happy. Being aware of other people's sufferings gives us the opportunity to practice compassion on their behalf. Being aware of other people's needs gives us the opportunity to practice love on their behalf. During the compassion lesson we talked about Star Trek, the original series, and how you had Dr. McCoy and he was very sentimental. Today we're going to talk about Mr. Spock and he's very logical, especially if you ever saw The Wrath of Khan. You know that Spock was keen on saying that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Well, that's nothing new. Buddha taught the same thing. He put it to us this way. There's only one of me, the number of other living beings, is countless. Therefore, numerically speaking, the needs of others outweigh mine by a, a degree that is utterly incalculable. So since there's only one of me and an infinite number of all other living beings, their needs are even more important than mine. Such a contemplation helps us to loosen our narcissistic belief in our own greatness and preeminence. All of those contemplations which are explored in great detail during the second quarter of the uh, daily, I'm sorry, weekly uh, webinar series are condensed into one contem silent contemplation. Why are all more than me? Feet are falling asleep, you may want to adjust them. And by them I mean your legs. And we explore our motivation by contemplating why give joy, chain raising. Remember the test of the teachings, whether or not whether they resonate intellectually or vis viscerally, but with the results you get when you can apply them consistently. Twice a day, every day, for no less than six consecutive days. Chen Rei Zig, give all joy. You might say, hey, I don't want to give away my joy. I don't have much of it. I don't want less of it. I don't have any of it. What joy do I have to give? Simple. On the in-breath you are invoking the person, presence, and blessings of the Buddha of Compassion by reciting his Tibetan name, Chain Ray Zig, that allows you to accumulate good karma. On the out-breath you are intending that that good karma be spent on lavishing others with the joy that every living being desires to experience. Ironically, it has been taught that by sincerely 
practicing such an exercise, we increase the karmic propensity for ourselves to receive joy. On the in-breath, when we, are, we invoke Chen Rei Zig. On the out-breath, when we are uh, mentally reciting Give Joy Light, we actually imagine 64,000 rays of light leaving through our 64,000 skin pores and 60, to form a sphere around us that expands and pervades the entire universe, trans lavishing every individual, everything and everything, every animal, every uh, insect, every microscopic entity, every animal of air, land, and sea on every world with great joy. Chin Rei Zig, give joy light. Today, we have explored the final silent contemplation of Lom Rim's intellectual path. During our next lesson, we're going to dig even deeper into the Cha Chen collection of mystic practices. Right now, we're going to conclude our silent practice with the Maha Mudra of awareness and letting go, what some people call the essence of Vipassana, Zen, Chan, or Dzogchen. What feeling, letting go. What hearing, letting go. What seeing, letting go. Noticing, letting go. drop down to the one syllable version, this free. We're going to do this for let's see 12, 9 12 15 breaths. Excellent. Relax your gaze. There's your room. Water, your beverage of choice. Let's perform this gentle yoga practice. Yoga set known as untying the heart's knots. Please lace your hands behind your back, open your chest, twist to the left, 
Do I give love? Chin raises. Please reverse. Chin raises. Give all love. Back to center. Please release the hands. Clasp them in your lap. Swing them out and up. Please bend to the left. I give peace. Chin raises. Please reverse. Chin raises. Give all peace. Back to center. Let's make our way into downward facing fetal position, also known as child's pose. To resig, give wisdom. From your hands and fists, place the fists on the carpet or the blanket. Straighten your arms. It's better to use your arms to sit up, that way there's no chance of you straining your back. Everyone who's insisted they don't need to follow my instructions has officially harmed themselves. Please don't injure yourself. Now sit in a seated samurai posture, also known as lion's pose. If you wish, you could place your hands behind your back. Open your chest, drop your head, roll your gaze up, noticing, oopsie, what feeling, letting go. What hearing, letting go. What seeing, letting go. Please release the hands. Please cup your hands before your chest. Please twist to the left. Why give joy to raise Please reverse. Chin raise give all joy. Back to center. Let's assume the cat cow asana. With an open jaw, can raise it, give comfort. Let's stand up. Let's place the weight on the balls of your feet, knees steadily bent, hips thrust forward, hands laced behind your back, chest open, head dropped, gaze roll up, noticing what it go. All right. We're going to do two sets of 12 face sun salutation as once again, if you have any questions, consult the links below the video. The first set, we're going to lead with the left leg. The second set, we're going to lead with the right leg. By this virtue may I now accomplish the spontaneous, habitual, easy, and effective mastery of Buddha's mental yoga, of devotion, awareness, and love, and letting go. And now meet every living being, without exception to this ground. May everyone be healthy, wealthy, and happy. 
They will impart this skillfully and joyfully. They will accomplish Chimere Zig in this life. And then help many others do likewise. For truly that is the meaning of life. Om Mani Padme. We're now going to do two repetitions of Vietnamese bounds. During the first set, we're going to leave with the left. During the second set, we're going to leave with the right. May I always be cared for throughout all my lives by the Buddha of compassion emanating as my kind teacher. And as such, may I always enthusiastically and joyfully tread this excellent path praised by the conquerors. <sighs> All right. Thank you for practicing with me. Thank you for your commitment to excellence that motivates you to perform the 10 minute workout. Thank you for your enthusiasm to become the Buddha you were born to be by practicing along with the guided meditation. Before you go, I wish to remind you to find the subscribe button and the like button and the share buttons. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Of course, quick reminder, the Monday series of weekly webinars begins January 7th. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.